was just out. And uh, to be honest, I it really hurt me. It really did because I did not accept expect Kylie to touch talk pretty much so much bad about Chad. Kylie is still a minor, so I'm not gonna sit here and mm, I don't know. I wouldn't like she's still she's still a child. I'm not gonna I don't know say nothing. I just I was so disappointed because half of it was so. Oh, talking like he's such a monster and talking like he's such, I don't know, abusive father and stuff. If only somebody knew how much good he'd done for those kids. And then I was actually proud of Kyra and trying to, trying to defend her father because she knows, she knows how much good he'd done for her. She knows when her mom wasn't there for her, he was always there. And uh, I wish the Ashley girl who did live video would actually let Kyra speak up. I, um, I, I believe Kyra had a lot more to say, but Ashley would always interrupt her or something, and Kyla, Kyla, Kyra, I mean, just didn't say everything she wanted to say. I believe there was more to say, and also I wanted everybody to know that if everybody's looking for Chad and looking him up, I, I would suggest you guys to look Jennifer up and see all her charges and see all. Her, I don't know, drug abuse charges and for stealing stuff and, I don't know, people, I mean, the uh, the court taking um, full, uh, taking any kind of custody from her. And it, it, it just, I don't know, Jennifer saying that Kyra was raising Mia, that, that kind of like blew my mind too, because I have a... F um, joint custody but I have a physical custody of my daughter nobody else is nobody else raising her but me and Chad when he's there when I give um, uh, Mia to Chad so it's I don't know that just blows my mind that people uh, believe like a one-sided story that just listen to one person and then they don't even search for another one I, I, I really want you guys to go and look for Jennifer and, and see the truth, too. So there are allegations that he, in his previous relationships, apparently he has several previous relationships, and he, they're saying that he has six kids. Is that true? I know about Kyra and Kylie. I don't know, six kids. I, I, I mean, we have two kids. He has other two kids that was on life. I, that's all I know of. Okay, and... They want to know um, that he has previous, um, I guess, allegations of domestic violence with his previous partners or wives. Um, so has, was there a history there or? I honestly do not know nothing about his like previous love too much. I knew about just a little bit about Kylie's mom. Just I knew that she has existed because I used to few times just like drop Kylie off or pick her up or me and Chad would I would just she's living there was Kylie lived there with her mom so I just knew that she's existing but I've never I don't know even if you go look him look up all this um stuff about Chad like I don't know I don't think you will find anything about previous relationships I don't I don't think there's something I don't know much about it at all there have been a few a few women who have come and and spoken up um, mothers that have come to, sp um, like the mother of Kylie, who has come to spoken up and said that he was abusive. Um, so, and given the history with you and having the charges of the terrorism, it can be shh, it can be misconstrued. It can be misconstrued as. Um, you know, maybe you are still trying to advocate for him and maybe be scared or somehow he is controlling. So I have, just like I told you, I get nothing out of talking about this. In fact, I, I can care less. In fact, like it's my ex-husband. I have another person in my life now and I can care less about ex-husband I get nothing out of it and I my personal opinion is he's not the best 
I don't know, husband, he not the best, dad or something. But everything that people like make him look like he's a monster, I don't know, that's not true. And also, when Kali's mom start to, I don't know, speak up and tell, tell how he's abusive and everything, what's funny to me is she was just fine with him before he ever got TikTok. There was nothing for years. Like it was, what, 15 or something years that they're not together anymore. Uh, there was nothing that she, it was just fine. She never talked about it or nothing. And then as soon as she had, gets TikTok and becomes popular, she wants to speak up, I don't know what, for attention or something? I don't know. And she was just fine. I even, when we, me and Chad were married, she um, used to, I don't know, I remember they even sometimes texted or something, just fine. So, like, I, I don't understand why now, all of a sudden, she wants to speak up and, I don't know, talk like that. It, it just, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. They're saying that didn't you have a protective order against him for 12 months? Uh, no, I didn't have for 12 months. It was two months. And, yeah, I did have a protective order. Um. Somebody asked, what about his nursing license? I have nothing to say about it just because I don't know. We already, we already been divorced when whatever people post on about his license, I have no, nothing. Like, I don't know nothing about it. We weren't, it's, I can only speak for when I was with Chad and something that happened between me and Chad or like uh, our daughter or something. I can, I don't know nothing about Chad change or whatever i don't know nothing about his license i it just it's his person like i don't know nothing about it okay somebody else said that he gave up full rights of two of his children from one of his wives and those are the other two kids making it six kids i don't know nothing about it like i cannot say nothing because i don't want to seem like a liar and just speak or whatever i don't know nothing about it um they're saying that there were allegations that he has an addiction addiction to what um to either pills because he was stealing medication from the nursing facility that he was working at um which is a reason why his license got revoked yeah he what about this license i went to this documents and it was like in 2020 as far as i remember we we're not together since 2000, end of 2018. So I, I unfortunately hasn't, have nothing to say about it because I don't know nothing about it. It was literally like, what, two years ago when, or, well, actually more than two years ago, three years ago since we're not together. And he does not, he did not have any addiction while you were with him? You didn't notice any signs of addiction? Uh, no. Who is Beth? Beth. Are you asking me? Yes. I don't know. What What's her last name? Um, they're saying that Beth is one of the mothers of the children, I believe. Oh, the only people I know was Jennifer, uh, Shauna, who's Kali's mom. I know his. The wife that died was Lily or something. And that's, I mean, that's all people I know. I don't know nothing about Beth. Or... They're saying that Lily died because of a heroin addiction. I don't know much about it because he wouldn't, I don't know. He just, I I would never really ask because it's such, like, I don't know how to ask about somebody dying. Like, it's such an awkward conversation. He said that, yes, she died. They were living separate at the time in a different states. And she um, just overdosed. Okay. Um, Jennifer, Shauna, Lily, Beth, and Lana, they're saying that those are the mothers. So I don't know who Beth is. I um, okay. don't know who that is. They said that Lily was found doing heroin with Chad. Well... What I know is they were living in a different state at the time of her death. They were not living in the same. They can, uh, They got separated and lived in the different states. And then um, her, I believe her work called him saying that she died. That's the 
the only information I know. Um, they're saying, why are you defending a man you don't know? You can't answer questions. First of all, I'm not defending anyone. I'm telling because I've seen so many uh, live videos where people misinterpret something like I've heard people I mean I think it was your video where you said I had four three protective orders against you that was just lies so when I don't know I hear people saying Mia doesn't have cancer or that Kyra raised me or something like yeah I'm gonna speak up because it, it they talking crap about me and my daughter I'm gonna speak up and also I'm gonna tell whatever people talk about the, the father of my child saying that he's a monster he's I don't know abuse like up to like that he i don't know like it, it just crazy stuff and it's it's funny whoever said that i don't know the man i don't know information after we got divorced yeah i don't know that information why would i we're not together anymore but i mean how what do i mean i don't know like the man i do know for whenever we were married so does he disclose to you how much money is raised on behalf of mia I mean, no, he doesn't tell me. But as I told you, I know he doesn't make much just because if somebody was to go to look at his car or apartment, they would see the man doesn't make much money at all. Um, and, you know, we had...